a man from the UK. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, in different countries, there are different norms for clothing. Um, for example, in Nigeria, they wear colorful clothing, and in Saudi Arabia, they wear simple and plain clothing. I was wondering if it's okay as a Muslim sister to wear clothing with patterns. Keep in mind, this is not embroidery. For example, zigzags, polka dots, or tie-dye on my jacket, dress, etc. This is what normal streetwear in the UK is like for people like me and others living here, especially the youth. Is it okay to wear these patterns as long as they're not vibrant and very attractive colors, rather they are mute and simple colors? Jazakallah hai. Wa jazakum. Dress code is related to both Islamic traditions and to the culture. So Islamic etiquette dictates that your dress code must not be tight, showing your curves and bone structure, must not be see-through, must not be imitating men or imitating women, and must not be attractive in themselves, drawing attention. So one must not wear something that is really weird that would make him or her stand in a crowd. If these are fulfilled, then we go to the norm of a society and a community. So if you are in a country such as Nigeria, where the people are used to wearing such colors, where if she were to wear it in Saudi Arabia or in uh, Qatar, for example, that would not be accepted because it would be too attractive, an eye attraction, and uh, distracting the people. In this case, this is according to the culture. So you have to go to the real righteous practicing imams in the UK and say to them, is what I'm wearing acceptable in the community or not? So normal color, colors that are not uh, um, eye-catching and not attractive, wouldn't make you stand in a crowd. Everybody's wearing it among the Muslims. Not that you're the only Muslim who's wearing it and everybody else may be uh, um, uh, tempted to look and investigate what's behind the curtains. If this is the case and they say it's normal, then it's normal without any problem, inshallah. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi-idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi-idhnillah.